I think I'm an ambitious person. I have been an ambitious person probably for most of my adult life. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think you're that way? Probably has to do with upbringing, probably has to do with some of the messages I learnt when I was growing up. Um, I come from a Holocaust survivor family, born in Prague, and um, I think I got the message particularly from my father that I had to save the planet, had to save the world. He sort of saw so much evil in the world and so much bad stuff in the world, and, and he never said this, but somehow I got must have got the message that it was my job to fix it. <laughs> Before I did psychodrama and all that psychological stuff, I was trained in science. I got a Master of Science degree, so at my core I'm a scientist and I've studied climate scientists, science pretty intensively and I know how serious it is, not just from what I hear but what I've studied. I think we need to regenerate the soils um, and in, in that process build carbon in the soil. So you're drawing down carbon out of the atmosphere, there are lots of ways of doing this. Um, drawing down carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, locking it away safely in soils. So you're assisting with reducing carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere, but also in the process building healthy soils. I think we're coming into some pretty tough times. I think it's going to be pretty unpleasant what is ahead of us. Um, maybe not while I'm alive, maybe it will still happen while I'm alive. I'm 72 and there's a good chance it's going to get pretty bad in my lifetime. But certainly in my children's lifetime, and I have great-grandchildren, and definitely in their lifetime, things are going to be pretty tough. And I think being able to feed the local population without importing any food at all, just growing everything you need right here in the Tasman region, in the top of the south, is that's my ambition really to, I guess, get traction for that idea. Mm -hmm. Part of a group here in, in what do we get called Carbon Action, Aotearoa. And before that I was part of a group that are called the Renewables. So I've been working on this now for 12, 13 years mm -hmm. or so. And I do have people that I work with, I'm not doing it on my own. <laughs> but having a sidekick, yep, yeah, that'd probably be a good thing. <laughs>